Let's have a look at another example. In this case, we want to evaluate this integral of xy over the region r, which is bounded by lines y equals x, y equals 3x, and a couple of hyperbolas. We're given some uh, change of variables to use, but we'll just hold on to that for a moment, and we'll get a sketch for the region first. So I'm going to sketch our region over here. Generally, I like to sketch my xy regions over to the right, and then the under the change of coordinates, I'll sketch the region off to the left, which is ultimately what we're going to integrate over. So for the xy region, we've got y equals x. So it looks like this. We've got a y equals 3x, which looks like this. So there's our y equals x, y equals 3x. And then we've got these hyperbolas xy equals 1. So, so it comes down like this. xy equals 1. And then we've also got xy equals 3. So that's out a little bit further. xy is equal to 3. And so the region we want is this region trapped between them all. That's what we're trying to integrate over. And now what we'd like to do is we'd like to change variables to make that region a little bit simpler. Now if we look at the change of variables that are given, x equals u over v, y equals v, then how do our boundary curves get represented in terms of those new variables? So let's draw our uv coordinate system. And we've got now, based on how I've drawn it, with the uv on the left and the xy on the right, I've got this arrow that goes from left to right, and that's our change of coordinates x is u over v, and y is v. So this is one reason why I like to write the uv on the left and our starting diagram on the right. It's because our change of coordinates now goes from left to right. We've also got this ability to come back, and we could work out formulas for those if we need to. Now what about these boundary curves? So let's have a look at maybe x, y equals 1 first. So x, y equals 1. Do a little bit of scratch work down here. We've got this curve x, y equals 1. If I'm going to put it in terms of our new coordinates, then x is u over v, y is v, and that's supposed to equal 1. So in other words, u is equal to 1. Oh, that's very nice because the hyperbola now just becomes a straight line u equal to 1. So there we go. There's our u equals 1 line. And what about the other hyperbola? x, y equals 3. So that's u over v times v is equal to 3. Or in other words, u is equal to 3. Oh, another line. There we go. u is equal to 3. What about these lines, y equals x? So in the case of y equals x, well, y is equal to v, x is equal to u over v, so that becomes v squared equals u, or u equals v squared. That's a parabola opening about the u axes. So that's going to be a parabola that looks like this. And of course it would also go in the other direction as well. And we also have y equals 3x. So that's v is equal to 3u over v, or v squared is equal to 3u. And this is another parabola opening along the u axis. It's just a little bit wider this time. So we'll label these ones in here. This is a 
v squared equals 3u, and this was a v squared is equal to u. And so we're interested in the region bounded between these curves, and so that's that region there. And that is quite a bit more straightforward to deal with. It's a vertically simple region. So what we have is that our region in this case is given by V is trapped between, well, it's above square root of U and below the square root of 3U, and U is trapped between 1 and 3. So there's our description of our region. Last thing we need is the Jacobian. That's the final ingredient before we can go ahead and do our change of variables. So what's our Jacobian? It's going to be dxy duv. And so that's the determinant of x sub u, x sub v, y sub u, y sub v. In this case, x sub u is 1 over v, and x sub v is negative u over v squared. y sub u is 0, y sub v is 1. And so this has a value of 1 over v. So there's our Jacobian, and so now we can go ahead and write down our integral. The integral over the region, so r of x, y, dA is equal to the integral over u goes from 1 to 3, v goes from root u to root 3u, x times y is just u, and then our Jacobian the absolute value of it, 1 over v, but v is in the, uh, has positive values, so it's just 1 over v, and then that was times dv du. And so that's it. There's our integral. And I'll leave it for you to go through the details of the actual integration, because this integral is fairly straightforward, and you should get a value of 2 log 3. All right, so that's it for this example. We'll see you in the next video where we do another example.